you come again. How you doing everyone? And next time, this is Andrew Design. Had a lot of requests about people wanting me to actually speak in my videos. Um, not a big talker, but I'll do my best. Alright, try not to make any mistakes, but um, I'm not really used to talking on, on film, period. Alright, so we're, today what I'm going to do is we're going to run through teaching you how to do like some pretty cool basic textiles. Yeah, just like make like a pretty decent looking logo type text. Probably for a gaming site or clan, that type of thing. You wouldn't really use this for a commercial site or anything like that. Just, just some cool effects that you might find useful. Right. So we start with our new layer, okay, a transparent layer. Size will be 800 by 600 pixels. Okay. Which we've got there. Okay. Just fill that in with whatever colour you want. And then I like to change it personally. For this tutorial, I'm going to make mine 1D, 1D, 1D. Okay, do that. Alright, fill that in. Like so. Alright. You can just go ahead and call that background. Right. Now we'll start our first group. Okay. And we'll just put a layer in there. Again, just shape, text, whatever you want to call it. Layer not bothered, doesn't really matter. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our text, first we'll hit D, alright, that'll turn our swatches back to black and white. Okay, so I'm going to take a font, now for this tutorial I'm using Gunship Condensed, Italics, so it'll be like an angled, angled font. Okay, I've gone for size 90 on a setting of crisp and I've aligned it to the left. Alright, and by doing that I've changed the colour as you can see. You can change it back, it's your choice. Alright, but as you want to see it, probably best to keep it with that. So. Alright, there's my text. Cool. Just align that a little bit. Alright, nice and simple. Alright. <clears throat> okay, first layer we're going to do is the actual text itself. Alright, we're just going to style the text. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can do it as a straight text file, or you can convert it to a smart object, or you can rasterize the type. By rasterizing, you take away the ability to edit it as a text. It becomes just a shape. All right. So if you want to be able to adjust your text again after, I suggest you don't do that. All right. So we'll just do that for now. Okay. So we'll go to some blending options and we'll get into some stuff here. Scroll down to some styles I put together for this too. All right. A nice flat matte style. Very very clean. But still quite stylish. Okay, it's very basic. Okay, so we'll go in here to bevel first. And by default, bevel always sits on 120 degrees. Okay, so you always want to change that to 90 unless you want it on 120 for a specific desired effect. Alright, so leave that on 90. Okay, bottom's on black. I got my top one on 929292. Okay. Color overlay is set to 565656. And I've got a stroke on here, an outside stroke of black, which is good old six zeros. Alright. Okay, so we've got that. It's our first layer. Okay, and we can build on that. Okay. Basically, I'm going to select it, create a new layer, place that layer underneath. Again, excuse me, if you want to name it, go for it, you don't have to. Okay, so we'll go to select, modify, and then we're going to expand. I'm expanding it by six. Alright, I'm going to turn that on there so as I can move it around. Set this back to black. Let that off like that. Okay, so now we've got our next layer underneath. Okay? So, 
can go ahead and copy that style there and then paste it. Alright, sweet. Okay, now for the tutorial, what we'll do is we'll darken this top style a little bit so as we give our design a little bit of contrast. Alright, just go ahead and just move the swatch, color swatch down a little bit. Something like that. Beautiful. Alright, so we've already got a pretty stylish looking text here. Okay, but this is, again, like I said, it's very simple, but the results speak for themselves. Okay? Alright, so after that, we then go down here, and once more, we're going to select the text. Okay, this time we're selecting the actual shape. This isn't a text file now, this is an actual shape file. Okay, so a new layer underneath, again. Alright, and this time we're not going to change the size of it at all, we're just going to just going to drag it down a little bit. We're going for like an illusion effect here. Okay, we're going to give the illusion of depth. So we'll fill that in like so. Alright, sweet. All black. Okay. Now, you could again apply the same style as above if you wanted to, but it's not going to make it pop as much. This is this is where we want to really add some contrast to our design. So we'll um we'll go in here styles where I've already put some stuff together again and there we go this this one's pretty banging right, what do we got here okay in the shadow okay so set on overlay at 100 percent distance of 19 okay the distance is just moving see this little part here this is the inner shadow and I move that that moves see how it's moving on this on the actual lettering underneath this so you can get different effects with that yeah, it's a lot of fun okay very easy okay so if you want to move it back whatever like that okay beautiful okay so that's on 16 and the color I've used here is FFC 601 okay alright cool and we've got a bevel and emboss on this one FSC B4B and our darker layer is A32725 alright and we've also used the contour okay but it's a custom contour okay it's just a particular setting just choose one of these ones should still work fine for you otherwise you would need to click on the custom window and that's that's what my custom one looks like okay if you want to have a look at that print screen it whatever so as you can, uh, you can see it you can easily just save it yeah, save it to defaults there you go so there you've seen it okay so I've got a color cover overlay as well of EF8C04 alright and last but not least this has got a stroke in here of 6B1B17 alright so call this and basically from here okay so that's our style again people please bear with me I'm not used to talking I'm really not I just like to just work and just do my thing but that's cool so we're nearly finished here we've got our base here so we're just gonna go here of course with practice I mean if I wasn't talking I'd have this knocked up in 30 seconds but I'm talking so a little bit nervous now there's two ways you can do your bottom shadow you can either set it off the bottom layer style or select right new layer place it underneath and set that now I personally prefer that way only because I've got more control of that layer on its own now okay like that and we're just gonna do a bit of sizing on it just get it to expand a little bit give us a bit of effect turn up strength just going for a bit of depth that's all the shadows there to provide just a little bit of depth like right, so okay beautiful okay, so that's done and last but not least what we're going to do to our text is we're going to select our text one this time new layer again 
this one you might want to call something. Just call it light. Alright, so we'll go to select, modify, this time we're contracting instead of expanding. Now I've got a contract of two. Alright, make sure my grad set six. Make sure that's set so it's on black with white underneath. Very important, otherwise, the effect won't work. It's like a transparent black to nothing. Okay, and if you have, if you wanted to get the opposite effect with the light one, the trick is simple. Just there it is. There's the white one. Okay, but we're going for dark. So we'll go back to black. Okay. Next, we want to take the square shape up here, otherwise known as the rectangular marquee tool. We're going to set that to subtract. Okay. Ooh, uh, lost hold of it. One second, people. There we go. Let's try that again. My first mistake live on video. Alright. Let's try that again. Okay, drag it down till about the middle. That's for best effect. You don't want it too high because it'll look stupid, and you don't want it too low because it, it just loses the balance. And it's like, why did you do that? You know. So, just leave it in the middle, and then drag from that center point down with our gradient selected, and that's going to give us this cool black shape. Now, the reason we contracted that is so as it sits inside the other colors, and that's it, guys. That's your simple textile. There it is. Ready to go on to your new project, whatever you want. You can learn from it and do everything. Alright. Okay, I'll catch you next time. Please make sure you like and subscribe to see lots more from me. Alright. Thank you very much. Bye now.